Okay, so we're gonna do this problem. So makes deposits of a hundred at time zero and x at time three. Fund grows a fund this, the amount of interest earned from time uh three to six is x. Okay, so when we're talking about the amount of interest, we're talking about the value of six, accumulation of six minus the value of at time three to get x, amount of interest, right? So how would we solve for the amount of interest of x? Well, we would have to set up two equations with the aid of the initial deposit of 100. So not only do we apply this uh, measure to x, but we also apply this measure to 100 as well. So we would find the accumulation factor of 100 uh, at time three by setting up an integral of 100 e to the zero three uh, t squared over 100 dt. Another one is that we would have to find it at six as well. So zero to six as well. And um, we would have to subtract both values to find the interest earned for around this period. Another one is that we would have to find the accumulation of X at time six. So we would do X uh, from three to six this time, T cubed 100 DT, right? Um, and uh, we would take this value, subtract it by X to find that portion amount of interest as well. Another thing is that we would have to calculate uh, the amount of interest from time three to six. So we have to find the total of the amount of interest that has occurred, um, not only from the deposit of X, but also from the deposit of 100. So um, once we solve these integrals, and subtract both of these values, subtract both of these values in which it applies to the accumulation of factors of here. We are able to add both of these values, these workings and set it equal to X. So the total amount of interest occurring here, uh, set it equal to X so we can find X. So now let's solve this. So we know that if we were to solve this integral, it would become t cubed over 300. And another thing is, is that we could plug in three. So three cubed divided by 300, which is 0 0.09. So e to the 0 0.09, which is 1.094. We multiply by 100 and we get 109.417 for this one. Another one is that accumulation at six. So we just did this one. So accumulation, at, so we'll just do six cubed divided by 100, uh, 2.16, e to the 2.16, 8.67 times 100. Six cubed divided by 100. 72 times 100, and we get uh, 205.44. Okay, now we found both of these values. Let's subtract both of them. So 205.44 minus 109.417, and we get 96.026. Uh, okay, so we have this part of the equation solved. Now we do plus, let's find the, this notion for um, X. So we plug in this six cubed again, divided by 300, which is 0 0.72, 0 0.72. We plug in three for this again. which is 3 cubed. Mm. 
which is 0 0.09. We subtract both values. We get 0.63, so we E paste that. 1.87761. x minus x, so minus 1. So we end up getting 0 0.87761 x. And we set the whole thing equal to x so we could find the amount of interest. So this is the total interest that has occurred from time 3 to 6. And we said it equals x because they say that equals x. So now let's do x so 1 minus uh, 0 0.87761, which is 0.12239. And then we do uh, 96.026 divided by 0.12239, and we end up getting 784.59 as the answer. Voila.